Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, so today I am working on a winter layout. It went, uh, here in Connecticut, it went from being in the 90s to not even hitting 70 in two days. So I felt, hey, let's toss in a cold weather layout. I have these three four by sixes and I'm going to be working with Cartabella Warm and Cozy. So I'm gonna go ahead, get you guys put on fast forward and let's get going. All right, so as I said, I'm using the Cartabella Warm and Cozy, and this is the line I bought a lot of paper and just the stickers. Uh, it was one of those things where I was like, oh, yay, a winter line. Um, forgetting I don't really do anything outdoorsy in the winter, so that's why I still have this line, you know, four years, four, yeah, I think it's four years later, because um, I don't necessarily use it all that often. So I cut out those three words thinking I might use them as part of my title. Uh, I don't end up actually using any of them. I found the word winter on the sticker sheet and I liked it in that navy. My nephew is wearing, I think it's dark gray, so I thought navy would work well with that. I'm also cutting out some pieces of this, uh, this strip paper, which has 12 by 1, 2, quarter inch and all of that all over and that's actually going to come, become a major design element in my page. I have pulled out this stripey piece that's actually supposed to go vertically but I liked it better horizontally because then I could use the strips from the branding, well let's just call it a branding strip page. So I'm not showing you any branding strips of this line. As I said it is four years old so I don't necessarily think you can find it. So <clears throat> as I already went and I kind of fussy cut out the word chili. At this point, I'm still thinking I'm going to use that. I, as I said, I do not end up using it. I'm going to go ahead, trim off the branding strip for this piece that is going to be my background. So once I get that laid down and I have my three photos, so this is actually right outside my house, uh, on a, obviously during a snowstorm, my housemate and my nephew are like we're gonna go for a walk do you want to come and I'm like no it's snowing and it's cold and the wind is blowing really hard and they were both gone for approximately four and a half minutes because they're like they come back and they're like yeah it's really windy out there that, that was not the world's best idea <laughs> so that's why uh, my title is going to be a short winter walk um because it really was not uh, conducive for walking outside this particular storm. It was, uh, you know, blowing icy pieces of shrapnel into your face. So I get my photos. It did make for very pretty photos, though. So there you go. <laughs> uh, so I get my photos lined up and I have that. And here's where I'm looking. I'm going to pull the word winter off the sticker sheet, I think. Yes. Okay. I'm like, do I have an idea of what I'm actually doing? Yay! I pull that off and because those stripes are navy and in the photo it's very blue, I decide I don't want the entire title to be navy and so I decide no that chili is just not going to work. So instead I start looking to see what else I can use. I, I'm not 100% on the title right now. So when I'm confused or not sure about what to do, I just move on to something else and then I will come back to it at the end. So I pull from the sticker sheet that little pine cone and pine branch swag. I'm going to pull a second one and mirror that in the lower right hand corner as well. And so I've gone and pulled out all of my wood veneer words and letters, not words, but just letters. I had been thinking about using that crepe paper one, but for somehow I had used both K's at, at some point. So I'm like, what are the odds of that using both K's? <laughs> so instead I pull out the first one for the word walk. That is an older Studio Calico. And then the kind of sans serif font is an older freckled fawn. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. And as I said my, earlier, my title is A Short Winter Walk. 
I had also pulled out a bunch of these wood veneer arrows. Those are also, I believe they're all Studio Calico. I could be wrong, but they're from, I think they're from different packs. So the arrows with no ends are from a different pack from the arrows with the little endy thingies. I also pulled out from the sticker sheet another arrow and then this snowflake banner that I'm putting in the upper corner of my photo along with another arrow. So obviously another embellishment cluster. So I pull off that branding sticker, branding strip sticker of trees. And I love that down at the bottom there. It brings in that green. I'm trying to get more green on this layout. In the warm and cozy line, the colors are cream, green, navy, and then like this uh, brick red. So basically I'm just trying to choose pieces that don't have the brick red in it and keeping it to cream, navy, and green. So I add the other swag, I add another arrow, I had put down my journaling and just explaining that uh, my housemate and my nephew had just gone for a short, very, very short walk. I'm going back to the sticker sheet, adding a couple of snowflake stickers, basically trying to see anything that doesn't have that red in it, because I didn't want to add the red just because there was no red in my photos and it would have been odd. So I decide I do want to add some enamel dots and I'm trying to decide between the glitter ones and the white ones and I decide on the white ones. I didn't want to add any more colors and if I'd use the, I don't, I know I don't have anything in this shade of green in an, in an enamel dot and I didn't want to add more navy because there's plenty of navy. Now here's where I'm deciding, you know what, I think I'm going to add a few more of those branding strip style strips from that piece of paper. So I have that snowflake one that I had already done. And then I'm thinking of adding the over the hill and through the snow, something like that. And then I also am going to trim off strips of the pine cone and pine branch pieces of pattern paper and use those as the 12, 12 length pieces as well. So now I'm just, of course, I'm going to have to pick up the pieces of my photos that are at the top there, but that's okay. Sometimes you have to pry things up. So I'm just trying to make a decision as to what I want to go where. And for the ones thick enough to run some ATG down, I will go ahead and do that. So the dashing through the snow is at the top. And then I'm going to do a pine cone and branches down at the bottom. I really wanted to bring more green in is what I was looking for. And then underneath the photos that I'm gonna pull up, and of course I smacked them down pretty hard. So <laughs> trying to do some prying without bending them. But, uh, and then, okay, so when I went to go put the snowflakes down, it ended right with where the photo, that four by six photo that's horizontal was, and I did not like the way that looked. So I had to open it back up and move it further down. All right, there we go. And I pulled off a couple of the enamel dots I had placed down. And for this one, I'm going to use my liquid glue. And that is simply because it's slimmer than my ATG. And so it just is easier for me to run some liquid glue down than try to properly do an ATG line. So that is my Scotch quick tacky glue in a in the original bottle with a fine line bottle top that I got on Amazon and it is sitting in a little glue holder that I bought off of Etsy and I am almost finished here I am doing this one last thing which is using some white dilutions to put some sprinkles on my page I like the white dilutions because it doesn't disappear into the page like other whites do that is going to finish off my layout for today thank you guys so much for joining me have a great day if you could flick me a thumbs up or subscribe that would be great bye everyone